I'm Sergeant Vincent Cole with the Phoenix Police Public Affairs Bureau. The information, audio, video, and pictures you're about to see are intended to provide details as we currently understand them of an officer-involved shooting that occurred on March 12th, 2022. This incident occurred in the area of 75th Avenue and Buckeye Road when Phoenix police were called about two men refusing to get off of a bus. One of those men was later identified as Adam Vespoli. Here's audio from the 911 call. Phoenix 911, what's the location of your emergency? Uh, it's gonna be with a city bus at 75th Avenue and Buckeye southbound. 75th Avenue and Buckeye southbound? And right. uh, what, what city bus is it? Bus number is? And uh, what's going on with the city bus? Operators got a couple passengers uh, who are refusing to exit the bus. They were asked to, well, they were advised they can't sleep on the bus, and they keep falling asleep right now. They're asleep again, but they're refusing to exit the bus. You would like to have them removed if possible. The bus was stopped at the intersection of 75th Avenue and Buckeye Road. A patrol officer arrived and parked his police Tahoe at the front of the bus. The officer boarded the bus and instructed both men to get off. Let's go, gentlemen. Off the bus. It's done. The bus is stopped here. It's not going any further. The officer's body-worn camera stops recording before the second subject gets off the bus. Surveillance footage was obtained from the bus that captures the second subject leaving. At about the same time, the bus's forward-facing camera shows Mr. Vespoli walking over towards the patrol Tahoe in front of the bus. He opened the driver's side door, got in, and closed the door. Please note that the audio from the bus camera is slightly delayed. The officer noticed this and ran out to stop Mr. Vespoli from stealing the police vehicle. As the officer left the bus, his body-worn camera fell off of his uniform, so he was unable to reactivate it. Once the officer got to the curb, he stepped on the running board of the Tahoe. With his service weapon drawn, he extended his arm into the driver window of the police Tahoe. Mr. Vespoli began to drive with the officer standing on the running board. That is when the officer involved shooting occurred. After the shooting, the vehicle continued to drive east and struck a tree on the opposite side of the road. The bus driver brought the officer's body-worn camera over to him. The officer then put it back on his body and reactivated it. The officer began life-saving measures on Mr. Vespoli until the arrival of the Phoenix Fire Department. Mr. Vespoli was transported to a local hospital where he died from his wounds. The officer involved in this shooting has been employed with the department for three years and is assigned to the Maryville Estrella Precinct.